thousands of teeth. Okay. There are a lot of places on the Gulf Coast of Florida where you can find fossil shark's teeth, where you can actually sift for fossil shark's teeth along the shoreline. One of the places that I like is Stump Pass State Park. And one of the reasons why I like it is because it's off the beaten path. It's wild, it's a bit of a hike to get to the pass. And it's beautiful along the way, a natural beach habitat full of sea grapes and prickly pear cactus. And there's a, a good population to go for tortoise here as well. I love taking my kids to this beach because it's less crowded. There's quite a few shark's teeth here and it's just, it's a beautiful walk, beautiful way to spend the day. If you'd rather skip the long hike to the pass, there's beach access right next to the parking lot and along the way. You wanna get wet? Yeah. Sure. So one of the things that's really cool here also is the mangroves. There's a healthy mangrove forest here and if you want to, as you're walking out to the pass, you can actually walk in the water in the intercoastal, right along the mangroves. And it's pretty neat. You see all kinds of fish. It's shallow, it's clear. And this time of year, really warm. And it gives you a break from the bugs. I mean, we're here to hunt shark's teeth. But really, just the experience of being here and walking out towards the pass along the water and through the woods is so beautiful. That's, shark's teeth or not, it's worth the trip alone. Walking through the water in a mangrove swamp. So cool. But there are plenty of bugs, mosquitoes. Fiddler crab. Hey buddy, big old claw. Look at that guy. Boop. There he goes. How are you doing, Ella? Good. Good. We are almost to the pass. There's a manatee just right out here, guys. Look what I just found. Whoa, How that's beautiful. That's a pretty fossil rich spot with all of the black pebbles and specks. So we're gonna try our luck right here. Because it's so rough, I'm taking scoops from the edge of the surf, bringing them up, dumping them on the beach, and the kids are finding little shark's teeth in, in each scoop, so that's pretty cool. typical of what you'll find here. So sometimes sifting works and other times just picking up what's washed out naturally out of the shells and out of the sand. Sometimes the teeth are just laying right out. Is that a sharp tooth right off the bat? Bam. All right, let me, uh, let me get this in good shape. Finding nice shark teeth. Yeah. Yeah. We 
we've had several fronts come through the Gulf of Mexico, kicking up the surf. It's been okay for surfing, but not so good for diving or hunting along the beach. So it's not typically this rough, but when this calms down, there'll be a lot more fossil shark's teeth washed up on the beach. All right, so this is what a typical scoop looks like for me. This is what I'm using, this kind of uh, sifter scooper. And I'm just dumping them out for Kai. And he's so fast, he finds little teeth immediately. Kai is also an excellent fossil hunter, so his eyes are like a hawk's when it comes to finding shark's teeth. Find a tooth. All along this part of the Gulf of Mexico, there are teeth constantly eroding out of the fossil layers and washing up on the beach. And Kai just keeps finding one after another. With every scoop that I bring up from the edge of the shore, he's finding tons of teeth. So it's a lot of fun for kids. All right, Ella, what's your technique? Oh, I see. Your fossil hunting technique is to bury your legs. <laughs> I like it. We spot a friendly dolphin in the pass and the kids decide to start snorkeling for shells and fossil teeth. Ella, can you please find me a megalodon tooth? <laughs> Mom, can you take this? I got him. Did you just call me mom? <laughs> <laughs> A couple things to keep in mind. If you're visiting Stump Pass, arrive early because the parking is limited. Also, if you want to kayak the pass, there are kayak launches right at the parking lot. And if you're bringing small kids, I recommend that you bring a stroller because it's kind of a far walk. And during the summer months, bring plenty of extra water. Lastly, if you're having trouble finding teeth, try different locations along the pass. Sometimes it takes a while to get into a fossil-rich location. Don't give up, and as always, happy hunting.